the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. What's up guys, this is Sun, hope you are doing well. Today in this video I will be unboxing and reviewing DJ Osmo Mobile 2 handheld gimbal. First thing first that is unboxing, now let's unbox. First, let me say what made me buy DJI Osmo Well 2 gimbal. Well, I am a blogger, I use my OnePlus 6 to capture the videos. It produces good quality videos but often those videos found to be shaky and I used to get disappointed. After brooding a lot, ultimately I decided to buy Osmo Well 2 handheld gimbal. Because the Osmo Well 2 is the second smartphone gimbal from DJI, the company most well known for its drones. The Osmo Well 2 takes much of what was great about original Osmo Mobile but makes it lighter and most importantly cheaper. It costs Rs 8999, the link is given in the description below. Now let's talk about the design. DJ has written much of the original design but has made a few important tweaks. However, what is new here is the material from which the Osmo Mobile 2 is constructed. DJ says it is made from high strength modified nylon, which goes some way to explain how the device has saved a few pounds. It weighs 450 gram and DJ has also contoured the grip for a more ergonomic feel, which again helps when using the device for prolonged periods. Many of the buttons and controls remain same as that of the old one. There's a joystick to adjust the camera angle, a record button and a power or mode button for swapping between the camera's different gimbal modes. A zoom rocker is located on the side letting you adjust the zoom of your phone's camera. The Osmo Mobile 2 holds your phone with a spring-loaded clamp rather than you having to adjust just a screw to lock your phone in up in place as you watch the case before. 
it has included 2600 mAh battery which will give you 15 hours battery life. It takes 2.5 hours to get charged completely. There's a USB port that lets you charge your mobile phone. The bottom of the Osmo Mobile 2 has a standard thread through which you can attach it to a tripod. It is particularly useful to take advantage of its moving time lapse capabilities. The base is flat. So you might find Osmo Mobile 2 is able to stand up on its own. The Osmo Mobile 2 pairs with your iPhone or Android phone through Bluetooth and can then be controlled using its DJI Go Companion app. There's nothing to stop you from simply using phone's default video app, but you will get so much more if you use DJI's app. The app lets you take advantage of aforementioned moving time lapse and hyperlapse features, as well as the target follow modes. Like the company's drones, you can put a target on a subject and the gimbal will keep it locked in and adjust the gimbal to keep it in frame. If you are a one-person blogger, you might find active track particularly useful if the Osh Mobile 2 is to remain in a fixed position but you will be moving around. It's also useful if you want to lock onto a stationary target and move the camera around it. It's great for quick product hands-on. The Zoom Rocker will only work with the DJI's app's video recorder. It will also let you adjust the gimbal settings, swapping around, swapping between it. The Zoom Rocker will only work with the DJI app video recorder. It will also let you adjust the gimbal settings, swapping between standard working or sport modes, which tweak the gimbal stabilization. You can even invert the joystick controls and option that's missing in other games, as well as the DJI Go app. The Osmo Mobile 2 is compatible with the more professional video capture Filmic Pro app. With this, you can achieve more professional looking shots from and from an iPhone or Android phone and each worth a look for a more serious budding to videographer. Controlling Osmo well to takes a little practice. There's a tutorial that runs you through the controls when you first use the app. The M button toggles the locked mode and a single press where a double press re-enters the gimbal and puts it back in follow mode. A triple press will switch to your phone's front facing camera and that's it if you have any queries please let me know in the comment section below